The Skunk Works build X-59, the experimental jet that could redefine how we travel through the skies, has finally taken flight. From the legendary U.S. Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, the aircraft that may silence the infamous sonic boom has lifted off, marking a historic milestone for the future of supersonic flight. This is the X-59 QSST. NASA's quiet, supersonic technology aircraft, a sleek, almost alien-looking jet built to prove one thing, that breaking the sound barrier doesn't have to shatter eardrums on the ground. This moment isn't just a test flight, it's the beginning of a mission that could revolutionize air travel, changing how fast humans move around the planet. The first flight took place at the U.S. Air Force's Plant 42 in Palmdale. It's been years in the making, a program born in 2016 under Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, the same secretive division behind some of America's most advanced aircraft, like the U-2, SR-71, and F-117. Now they've done it again, this time aiming not for stealth, but for silence. Following its maiden flight, the X-59 is being relocated to NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center alongside Edwards Air Force Base, where it'll undergo extensive testing. This first sortie was a cautious one, a low-altitude loop at around 240 miles per hour. The goal checks systems integration and airworthiness before pushing toward the jet's true potential, flying faster than sound. The project has faced delays, with early flight targets slipping from 2020 to 2023, then 2024, and finally this year. NASA attributed these delays to a series of technical challenges identified throughout development, each one a reminder of how complex and unprecedented this machine truly is. Taxi tests began earlier this year, marking the first time the X-59 moved under its own power. At the controls was NASA test pilot Nils Larsen, who performed low-speed taxi runs across Palmdale's runway on July 10, 2025. Since then, the team's focus has been fine-tuning the jet's unique systems, particularly the external vision technology and aerodynamic flow that define its futuristic design. In just a few short years, we've gone from an ambitious concept to reality, said NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy at the aircraft's rollout in January 2024. That ambition is now airborne. Once at Armstrong, the X-59 will serve as the centerpiece of NASA's quiet supersonic technology mission. The goal is simple but revolutionary prove that advanced design and engineering can turn the explosive crack of a sonic boom into what NASA calls a quiet thump. If successful, this could change everything. Since 1973, U.S. regulations have banned commercial supersonic flight over land due to noise pollution. Even the legendary Concorde, despite its prestige, was restricted to transoceanic routes and ultimately grounded under heavy operating costs and a shrinking market. NASA's test program will push the X-59 to speeds of Mach 1.4, about 925 miles per hour, and collect acoustic data from communities below. The mission's final phase, known as the Community Response Study, will involve flying the aircraft over selected U.S. towns and gathering public feedback on noise perception. If people barely notice, it could pave the way for future airliners to cruise faster than sound right over cities. But what makes the X-59 so special isn't just its mission, it's how it's built. Look at it from the side and you immediately see that massive needle-like nose stretching across a third of its 99.7-foot body. That's no stylistic choice, it's aerodynamics at work. The extended slender shape spreads and dissipates shock waves as the aircraft breaks the sound barrier, preventing them from merging into a thunderous boom. And then there's the cockpit, an engineering marvel in itself. The pilot sits unusually far back with no forward-facing window. Instead, vision comes entirely from the external vision system, a set of high-resolution cameras feeding a 4K monitor inside the cockpit. It's a technological leap that replaces traditional windshields with digital situational awareness, ensuring the pilot sees clearly even at supersonic speeds. And the engine, a single F414 GE100 turbofan, the same family powering the Navy's FA-18 Super Hornet, is mounted on top of the fuselage rather than underneath. 
This helps maintain a clean underside and prevents shock waves from colliding beneath the aircraft, again reducing noise on the ground. And while the X-59 looks like something out of a sci-fi movie, many of its components come from proven platforms. Its landing gear is borrowed from an F-16, the canopy and pilot seat from a T-38 Talon, and its life support system adapted from the F-15 Eagle. It's a smart blend of the new and the familiar, one that saves cost while focusing resources on innovation. As the Quest program advances, NASA and Lockheed Martin will expand the aircraft's flight envelope, pushing higher, faster, and ultimately quieter. The hope is that the X-59 will prove supersonic travel can once again be practical, sustainable, and socially acceptable. Lockheed Martin's vice president of Skunk Works, O.J. Sanchez, celebrated the milestone, saying, This aircraft is a testament to the innovation and expertise of our joint team, and we are proud to be at the forefront of quiet supersonic technology. And as acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy added, the X-59 is a symbol of American ingenuity. It's part of our DNA, the desire to go farther, faster, and even quieter than anyone has ever gone before. If the X-59 succeeds, it could rewrite aviation law and reawaken a dream that's been dormant for decades. Imagine flying from Los Angeles to New York in half the time it takes today without disturbing a single person below. But there's still a long road ahead. Proving the quiet boom concept is just one step. Turning that into commercially viable aircraft is another challenge entirely. Cost, fuel efficiency, and regulatory approval will determine if supersonic travel returns for good or remains a futuristic vision. For now, though, the X-59's first flight marks a new chapter in aviation history, one powered by innovation, perseverance, and the unrelenting drive to push beyond what's possible. From the deserts of Palmdale to the skies above, the quiet sound of progress has officially begun. The era of silent supersonic flight may finally be here, and the X-59 is leading the way.